This is the video about the lost cell phone of the citizens who from Wuhan. They couldn't stand the cold winter and see the spring. Phones are piled up like mountains. The number of customers for large Chinese mobile carriers has decreased dramatically. So today, I'm gonna show you two sides of the reason for this situation. One is saying that this is ridiculous. And another side is saying that this is true. After getting two sides of the reason and decide yourself. Based on China's mobile network, the number decreased by 862,000 in January and 7.2 million in February. Second, based on the China Telecom, the number decreased by 432,000 in January, 5.6 million in February. The third, based on China Unicom, as you can see, they lost 1.180 million users in January. So this is the simple mathematics. This is the first company, second company, third company. So I just plus it. 15 million people were lost, but this number isn't meaning the best. In the internet, there are a lot of the news titled 21 million people were gone in China. This 21 million number came from this statistic. As you can see, 21 million. So in January and February, this data showed 21 million users were decreased only in China. The cell phones can be greatly reduced due to the economic recession, but the cell phones are the most dependent items in isolated situations. In this situation, such a large customer reduction figure is not easily understandable. In fact, regarding the sudden decreasing of a mobile user in China, his name is Yang Jie, CEO of China Mobile. He said that the amount of the mobile phone users' communication and the data usage has also decreased significantly. And also, CEO Yang Jie said the average daily voice call and the text mobile internet traffic decreased by one day before the Spring Festival in January. You know, Spring Festival in China is really big. But at the time, lots of the people are going to call to each other, sending the tons of the message to each other. But at the time, also, lots of the data was decreasing. That doesn't make sense. And international roaming revenues will decrease to 50% too. So far, most YouTubers and the main media have reported like this. But uh, this is another side of people's opinion. China's telecommunications industry explained this phenomenon as a result of a decrease in dual SIM card users. Dual carrier SIM card means the people who is using more than two carriers. Until now, because of the China unique system that allowed the user to insert multiple SIM cards into their smartphone, many people in Chinese telecommunications market have used the various telecommunication companies in line with their residential area and work. However, due to the special situation, many workers have cancelled their smartphone SIM card subscription, which were used in work area, as more workers are unable to return to work after spending the spring holiday in their hometown. Okay, so you understand what does it mean. So there's a cell phone. Okay, let's say this is a cell phone. I don't know situation in USA, some other country, but in Korea, we are using only one SIM card. One cell phone, one SIM card. But in China, I don't know how they doing. But one cell phone, they can put multiple SIM cards. So there is uh, some article explain that one Chinese people can have a maximum 15 number. As some situation, special situation. So they are saying that uh, in the house, they are using A SIM card. In the work, they are using B SIM card. In some different area, they are using C SIM card. Something like that. Because of the curfew, isolation. People have to stay in the house for a long time. They really do not need to go to work. They cannot go other region. That's why they unsubscribe other SIM card. You understand? So he's a China Unicom chairman, Xia Chu Wang. He said in an interview with China's C114, the problem seems to have reduced the numbers of subscribers as some users have used only one card for a short period of time. As the return continues, the decline will be reduced in March. Uh, Bloomberg also analyzed that the rate of decline is not that high as the number of subscribers. The Chinese mobile network user number is about 1.6 billion. In fact, in China, individuals often have more than two, three numbers. It is an interview that all citizens suffering from economic difficulties due to this accident have terminated with only one number left. This is the interview with my Chinese subscriber. Uh, several days ago, there is the news. China Mobile and China Telecom and China Unicom, they are, they are telecom operators. 
So there are, there are big drop in mm. number of subscribers. They, they lose 20 million people, you know, uh, 20 million subscribers. They, they use this news to say, oh, you see, actually China, there are more than 20 million people who die from and uh, you know that's that's ridiculous because it's not possible because in in recent uh, recent months there is a lot of policy change so previously mm. for example many many chinese people they have from for example i i have three three numbers mobile numbers uh previously we cannot change our uh, uh, operators for example if my this number a is with mm -hmm. china mobile i cannot change it to china telecom and i cannot change my plan with the lower price so mm -hmm. i must upgrade it to higher higher price plan i cannot downgrade it to lower price plan but now the policy is changed. Many uh, now many people they want to change their number uh, corrections. So this mm. is the uh, reason why there are a lot of jobs. And also many people they lose business. So they, they don't want to have multiple numbers because if you have one more, you will pay more. So they want to, for example, have three. So now I want to have only two or only I want to only have one. But even if many people have cancelled the multiple numbers and the SIM card, the amount of the cell phone that have lost to their owners makes us speechless. That's a lot. Uh, this is the picture of the daily confirmed cases of China and all other countries. As you can see, only China is going down dramatically. It's uh, impossible. Only in China, how is it possible? And this is the graph uh, showing the daily confirmed case patient in each country from the first till nowadays. Only China's graph is weird because in China, there is no new patient. That's why it looks like this. As you can see, the word patient like uh, da, 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 going up, uh, US going up. Spain going up, Italy going up, Germany going up, United Kingdom going up, France going up, Turkey going up, Iran going up. China is like that. Because at the first time, uh, they declared this number. We got this infected patient in China, but nowadays we do not have any patient. That's why the graph looks like this. Okay, so I want you to invest your time and uh, make your constructive uh, conclusions through what I've shown you. Mm -hmm.